I'm so glad you asked. So I was researching augmented reality inside virtual reality, and I see that Vuforia released area targets. So I grabbed my LiDAR enabled iPad Pro and I scanned my house. Inside Unity, I created an area target with a scan and I added some 3D models. I put the APK on my dev phone. I just designed my house inside a freaking video game engine. God, I love the future. Okay, so this video is the first video in a series of videos that's gonna talk about cross-platform localization in augmented reality. Now you might be thinking, Matt, what the hell are you talking about and why is this important? Well, you may have heard of persistent AR before, and that's the idea that you can place content in the real world and save its position. That way, every time you reopen the app, that piece of content will be in the exact same place you left it. So when you open the device and it figures out where it is relative to the previous scan, that's called localization. This is the crux of what allows indoor navigation, multiplayer AR, or any other persistent AR experience to be possible. So today we're going to explore Vuforia's area targets. What's interesting about this method is you can actually bring the scan into Unity and design it there. Now, Vuforia lets you scan with either a Matterport camera or a LiDAR-enabled iOS device. I'm going to use an iPad Pro, so let's get into it. Now, before we do anything, you are going to need to create an account on the Vuforia website. So go to developer.vuforia.com and create an account if you don't already have one. Okay, so the first thing you need is to download the Vuforia Area Target Generator app on your iPad. Open it up and create a new scan. Walk around everywhere and scan any area that you might want to localize in thoroughly. Click the stop button and generate the target. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is start a new Unity project and let's go to File Build Settings and let's switch our platform to Android or iOS. Okay, so now we need to get Vuforia going. So let's go to the Vuforia website and click Downloads. And let's click this button, Add Vuforia Engine to a Unity Project. Agree and download that. This will give you a Unity package and all we need to do is drag this into our Assets folder here. Now you could install Vuforia via the Unity Package Manager, but that's actually not gonna give you the absolute latest version. Okay, now that we got Vuforia installed, let's set up our scene a little bit. So go to Scenes, and let's rename the sample scene to just Main. And then the first thing we can do is delete the main camera, and let's right-click in Vuforia Engine, add an AR camera. Let's move this back to the top. Okay, so now we need to configure some things. So go to Open Vuforia Engine Configuration, and go to Global. Uh, camera Device Mode, we'll keep it on default, that's fine. Um, license Key, so we need to add that. Go back to the Vuforia website. Click on develop, click this tab here for license manager and then create a new license key if you don't already have one. Let's click to copy the license key, minimize this, back in Unity we can just paste the license key in there and I believe that is all we need so far. So now we need to get the scan. So what we need to do is download some type of file explorer for iOS. So plug in your iPad and um, you need to get either iExplorer or iMazing. I use something called iMazing, just go to their website and you can download it and get a free trial. So if we open this up, you can just click continue trial and then we need to find that uh, Vuforia Area Target Generator app. So click on that and then go to documents, area target data, and then I called mine room test. So let's click on that and you'll see that there's a Unity package in here. Let's drag that onto our desktop. Okay, so now we can close out of this and we need to just drag this package into Unity. So now back in the hierarchy here, we can right click Vuforia Engine and we can add an area target. So choose that database and then choose that area target and you can see your scan now is in Unity. What I think is so cool about this is now you have the scan, you can just put whatever objects, animations, you can write code to control objects, you can do whatever you want inside a literal scan of the area. I think this is just like a great, amazing tool for prototyping. So what we can do if we wanna add stuff is right click here, just create an empty game object, let's just call it um, parent. Now we could right click and let's say grab a cube. Now we can literally put this cube wherever we want and it will show up there once you open the device and it localizes. Okay, so what I did as a little fun experiment is I downloaded this uh, free cartoon Halloween assets on the asset store and I redesigned my room to have like a little bit of a spirit Halloween theme. So what's also really cool about this is if you go to area target and you click on advanced, you can click simulate occlusion so you know how difficult of a problem occlusion is in AR, but now since Vuforia has all the mesh data of the actual area that you're in, they can do pretty decent occlusion with um, this setup, which I think is pretty incredible. The other thing you can do is add mesh collider so you can have a game that literally interacts with your environment. So yeah, let's build this out and test it on device.
All right, that's it. That's all I got for today. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next video. I'm thinking that we experiment with cross-platform localization with AR Core, but I'm open to suggestions. So that's all I got. Goodbye.